Hello guys and welcome to a new video on the channel. I know it's been a long while, it's been two months, but honestly, health race since uh, the Vex it's been going like that. So excuse my absence. If you got any videos you would like to see, comment down below. Um, that being said, as you saw in the title, I'm gonna analyze the recent German Open final. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the analysis. Jumping into the match, we already know two things. First, Lakshya Sen had a tough, tough game the day beforehand against Vict Axison, where he was really tired at the end. Whereas on the other hand, Kulnavut Wittinsan had a not so hard time against Lee Sija, was pretty dominant throughout the match, therefore saving a lot of energy, which is very important for this final, as you will see as the match progresses. Right from the start of the match, Kulnavut Wittinsan is pouring on the pressure on Lakshya Sen, whereas Lakshya Sen is kind of not playing passively, I'd say, but not playing extremely aggressive either. He's kind of just preparing the rally, whereas Kulnavut Wittinsan is taking the initiative and scoring a winner. 2-0 for Wittinsan. Kulner with Wittitzan is pretty much controlling at the beginning of the match. He has great variation, solid attack, deceptive drop shots and is the one on the initiative most of the time. So 11-6 at the interval, 5 games adrift. Kulna with Wittinsan is controlling the first game so far. He is putting a lot of pressure on Lakshya Sen. Lakshya Sen hasn't been really controlling the net that much and hasn't been attacking so much. Or rather, I should say, Wittinsan hasn't let Lakshya Sen go in the attack that much. So it will be interesting to see now, after the interval, if Lakshya Sen changes anything. It seems that the coach of Lakshya Sen has told him that at the interval that he's gotta go on the initiative if he wants to really win that match and he's gotta take control of the net and right after 11-6 he plays two net shots, takes good control, gets a lift but his attacking shot lacks quality and Wittitsan immediately punishes that and scores a point. So as so even though Lakshya Sen was on control of the rally, he didn't capitalize on it and rather kind of gifted Wittitsan the point by playing a loose shot and giving Wittitsan an easy opportunity to counter his attacking shot. Lakshya Sen seems kinda tired after the longest rally to 11 to 12 15 where he ends up winning the point after 53 shots because immediately after the rally he asks for a towel down to the umpire and that's not a good sign it seems that his stamina is weak or he feels tired he feels the pressure he's not feeling fresh certainly that's for sure we haven't seen Wittitsan asking after rally for a towel down so far in the match. As we approach the end of the first game, both players don't seem to want to give up the net. They play a lot of tight spinning net shots in order to try to gain the advantage of the rally, to get onto the attack, to take control of the rally, to score some attacking points. Like I said, at 18-19 seems visibly tired, heavily breathing. He seems to lack that explosiveness he had in the previous matches. So he isn't scoring so much over his speed and over his attacking shots. He's relying on his ability to get the shots of Wittitsan back and on his accuracy on his attack. Wittitsan seems much more explosive in his movement than Lakshya Sen. 
the only chance for Lakshasen to win this match is by winning the first game and winning also the second game because at three games Vititsan's advantage would be so big that it would be almost certainly a loss. After losing the first game, Lakshasen knows that he needs to go into the attack more. The first game was far too passive in order to take a real gap between the players to take advantage and therefore Lakshasen is playing the second game at the start much more aggressive than he did play in the first game. Lakshasen has been weaker than Kulan with Vitinsan. In that match so far his defense has more holes than Vitinsan so Vitinsan is scoring with more ease than Lakshasen whenever he attacks which makes it easier for Vitinsan to score points compared to to Lakshasen. Lakshasen has to work harder for his points. Also Lakshasen occasionally does some unforced errors whereas Vititsan stays consistent throughout most of the match. Another unforced error resulting in a dominant 8-2 lead in the second game for Vititsan. Vititsan has been dominating the early stages of the second game. 11-5 in the second game so far Lakshasen has been training in a lot of these rallies. He isn't able to take control of most of the rallies. Even when Wittitsan was at a serious disadvantage earlier where Lakshasen had a lucky net shot which touched the net and even then Lakshasen didn't finish off the rally but instead ended up losing the rally to Wittitsan through Wittitsan's pure perseverance and after a couple of shots Wittitsan got back into control of the rally and ends up winning the rally. Those are rallies which Lakshasen has to win. Lakshasen is in a big advantage of the rally, he has to be able to finish that rallies off otherwise he will not score many points and that reflects in the scoreboard. 11-5 for Wittitsan at the second game. Lakshasen hasn't really been dominating most of these rallies. That right rally at 6-11 where Lakshasen ends up winning the point is a perfect example of what Lakshasen has to do more often. Like take control of the rally, go early to the shuttle, keep moving Wittitsan, keep building the advantage in the rally and then finishing it off with a nice winner. But often that kind of explosiveness wasn't seen in Lakshasen in, the, in a lot of rallies. He was most of the time trailing behind, but in that rally he was moving faster than Vititsan. He was moving Vititsan from one corner to the other and kept piling up the pressure on him. He did that really well and that's the way to beat Vititsan for Lakshasen. Vititsan asks for a tower break at 12-9 first time in the match he seems to feel the pressure from Lakshasen. He is getting more tired, he is needing more breaks, which shows that Lakshasen's pressure is working and he's feeling it. Again another unforced error of Lakshasen. Lakshasen is gifting too many points to Ritizan. You can't do that at world stage, especially against an opponent where you have to work so hard to earn your points, you can't gift him an easy point when you have to waste so much energy on scoring a point. Because of that Lakshasen always has a bit of a disadvantage whenever he gifts free points. Another unforced error, 50-10 for Vititsan. Lakshasen really can't afford these unforced mistakes. He's already at a disadvantage and gifts another point. At 16-11 Lakshasen asks for a doctor for the second time. So before you complain in the comments that I'm not accounting that into the analysis, I can only analyze what the game is doing. Obviously his injury could affect his movements and could affect his explosiveness, yeah. But I can only observe if he's moving fast or if he's not moving fast. I can't say, oh, he lost because of his injury or anything like that. Uh, it could play a small part, but honestly, so far I just think Vititsan is playing better. That's why Lakshasen is trailing behind. I don't think the injury is so big that it is a game changer, but that's only my opinion. Another unforced error from Lakshasen leading to five match points for Vititsan. So far Vititsan has been far more steady than Lakshasen. He's been more the steady one of the two players. Yes. And Kulna Wood ends up winning the match. Do you agree with my analysis? Do you disagree? What are your thoughts on this? If you enjoyed the analysis, don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. It means a lot to me and it helps me out a lot. I'm trying to put out more content for you guys. Maybe some injury update about how my health is. 
some ideas about my Batman training, stuff like that. Stay tuned and I see you guys in the next video.